Yum, yum! Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a ball gear in plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve, then use the line tool to create half of a gear tooth and mirror it to complete the tooth shape. Radial array the tooth to create additional teeth. Create a line curve through the center, then select half the shape and revolve it to create a solid. Duplicate the solid, rotate it 90 degrees, then perform a Boolean intersect operation, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a simple keyboard key in plasticity. Start by creating a rectangle curve, then press B to bevel the points and round off the corners. Extrude the shape and use the white circle handle to add a small taper. Add a sphere solid and squash it using the scale tool. Then use it as a cutter for a Boolean difference operation. Select the top face. Use the keyboard shortcut Control 2 to convert the selection to edges. Add fillets to the selected edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a simple round button in plasticity. Start by creating a cylinder solid. Create a sphere off the top face, which by default will be set to difference. Select the cavity face and scale it to make it more shallow. Add fillets to these two edges to round off the top of the button. Adjust the height of the button to your liking and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a notched knob in plasticity. Create a large circle curve, then create a smaller circle curve on the inner edge and mirror it to create a duplicate. Create a line curve to connect the two smaller curves and mirror it. Extrude all the faces and flare the bottom out, then extrude these faces up. Create a rectangle curve, extrude it, move it into place, and use it as a cutter in a Boolean difference operation. Select these cavity faces and press Alt-D for alternate duplicate to create a solid. Move it to create an offset, then Boolean union all the solids. Add fillets to all edges, but in stages as seen here. And you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a basic knob in plasticity. Create a circle curve, then create a small square curve on the edge of the circle. Radial array the square curve to create duplicates. Then select this main face and press Shift D to create a new curve from the selection. Duplicate, scale, and move the new curve up. Loft the two curves. Then use the patch holes command to create a solid. Create a new circle curve at the base of the solid. Extrude it and flare it out at the base. Add a chamfer to the bottom edge. Then Boolean union the two solids to create a single solid. Add fillets to all edges and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating curved fan blades and plasticity. Start by creating a rectangle curve. Scale one end and bevel the points to round off the corners. Create a line curve, duplicate it, rotate it, and move it to the other side of the main curve. Loft the two line curves to create a sheet, then use the first curve to cut the sheet. Remove the outer sheet, thicken the remaining sheet to create a solid, radial array it with a count of five, add a cylinder solid in the middle, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a knotted pipe in plasticity. Start by creating a 1.95 meter circle at the origin. Duplicate it and move it up. Rotate it 90 degrees and sweep it to create a ring. Create two new line curves through the solid and perform a cut. Remove one quarter of the ring. Duplicate the remaining solids and rotate them 180 degrees. Then rotate them 90 degrees. Move the duplicates up two meters, then rotate them again 30 degrees. Rotate the end solid an additional 30 degrees and this end solid 30 degrees. Extrude these three end faces, Boolean union them together, select the end faces, and use the hollow solid tool to finish off the pipe, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a basketball in plasticity. Start by creating a sphere solid, then create two lines that cut through the center of the solid in the front view and imprint them onto the sphere. Create a new line curve in the top view through the center of the solid, then create a new curve like so. Imprint the two new curves onto the solid, Select these two faces and press O to offset them. Press Shift D to create sheets from the selected faces and then thicken them to create solids. Add small fillets to the edges of the new solids. Assign a black color to the sphere. Mirror the two panel solids to create all the panels. Assign a color to all the panel solids and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a simple chair and plasticity. Start with the default scene. Select these edges and add fillets. Select this edge loop by pressing Alt and left clicking on it. Press P to activate the pipe tool, B for new body, and adjust the thickness of the pipe to your liking. Select the first solid 
and press H to hide it. Switch to the side view by pressing 3 on the numeric keypad. Then use the line tool to create a seat profile curve. Press B to bevel the points, E to extrude it, and tab to activate the lock distances. Thicken the sheet, add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a cosmetic bottle in plasticity. Start by creating a rectangle curve. Add a 180 arc to one side. Trim the inner segment. Select both curves and press J to join them. Bevel these points to round off the corners. Duplicate the curve, scale it down, and then snap it to the flat side of the other curve. Move the duplicate curve up, then create a curve that snaps to the side of the two closed curves, followed by a line curve on the opposite side. Select both curves and press L for loft. Then shift select the other two curves to use them as guides for the loft. Patch the holes with the patch tool to create a solid. Then add fillets to the edges. Create a new curve up top and press C to cut the solid. Assign a material to the top solid, add fillets to the new edges, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a cosmetic tube in plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve, duplicate it, and move it up. Duplicate it again, scale it, and move it up. Duplicate one more time, move it up, and scale it. Select the last three curves and press L to loft them. Use the patch holes command to create a solid. Then extrude the first circle curve to create a solid. Extrude the top curve, then hide all the curves, add fillets to the bottom edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a simple helmet in plasticity. Start by creating a sphere, then squash its width using the scale tool. Switch to the side view and draw a line curve through the lower portion of the sphere. Bevel the points. Press C to activate the cut tool, then click the sphere as the target. Delete the lower solid, and create a new circle curve. Scale, rotate, and move the circle into place. Press C to activate the cut tool, then click the sphere as the target, then delete the smaller solid. Select the outer face and press Shift D to create a new sheet. Thicken the sheet, then add fillets to the outer edges and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a piece symbol in plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve, then create a line curve that extends from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. Radial array the line with a count of 8, then select all edges and offset them using the O key, and press the tab key to lock distances. Select all faces, then deselect the counter faces. Extrude the selected faces, hide the curves, then add fillets to all the curves, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a Bluetooth icon in plasticity. Start by creating a square curve. Create line curves that split the square vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. Rotate the curves 90 degrees, then press O to offset the curves, then tab to lock distances. Select the faces that make up the icon, then extrude them to create a solid. Add fillets to the edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a chain in plasticity. Start by creating a square curve. Create a 180 arc on one side of the square, then mirror it to make a duplicate. Select the three faces and press Shift D to create a new curve based on the silhouette of the selection. Then press P to create a pipe solid. Duplicate the solid, then rotate it 90 degrees. Create a new curve that you can use the chain links to follow. Then select one of the solids and make duplicates using the curve array tool. Take note of the number of duplicates. Select and delete every other solid. Curve array the other solid with the same duplicate count. Then delete every other duplicate and your chain is ready to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a yin-yang symbol in plasticity. Start by enabling the snap to grid option, then draw a circle curve that snaps to the grid. Use the center point arc tool to create a 180 arc in the center of the circle on top, followed by another 180 arc inverse below. Disable snap to grid, create a new circle curve, then select this face and extrude it to generate a solid. Hide the curves, add fillets to the edges, then duplicate the solid and rotate it 180 degrees. Select one of the solids and change its material attributes to your liking, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling the Star of David in plasticity. Start by creating a triangle curve using the regular polygon tool. Press O to offset the curve, then duplicate the curve with Shift D. Rotate it 180 degrees with the pivot for the rotation set to the origin. Select all the faces, then Control click the counters to deselect them. Extrude the selected faces to make a solid. Hide the curves. Then add fillets to the edges, and you're all set. 
Floyd here with a quick look at creating a tray foil knot and plasticity. Start by creating a small circle curve offset from the origin. Duplicate the curve and rotate it 120 degrees with the rotation pivot at the origin. Use the center point arc tool to create an arc that connects to the center of the two circles. Hide the circle curves, then subdivide the arc curve. Move the center point out like so. Then move these two points up and these two points down. Radial array the curve with a count of three. Join the curves into a single curve. Double click the three points where the curves connected. Then select these points and scale them out to smooth the curve. Then scale these points to further smooth the curve. Use the pipe tool to create a solid from the curve and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a biohazard symbol in plasticity. Start by creating a small circle at the origin, followed by two additional circle curves like so. Radial array the two larger curves with a count of three, then use the trim tool to remove the inner segments. Create two more circle curves to create a ring shape, then offset these three circle curves. Select the faces that make up the main biohazard shape and extrude them. Hide the curves, then create a rectangle curve that intersects the top of the solid and a smaller one that intersects the middle. Extrude these new faces and make sure they both intersect the solid, then radial array them with a count of three. Use the new solids as cutters on the main solid in a Boolean difference operation. Add fillets to all edges and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a radiation symbol in plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve and offset it with the lock distances attribute enabled to create two new curves. Create a new circle curve in the center and offset it to produce another curve. Create a line curve that runs through the center of the circles, then radial array it with a count of three. Use the trim tool to remove these inner segments, then select the faces that make up the symbol and extrude them to create a solid. Hide the curves, add fillets to all edges, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling the SGI logo and plasticity. Start with the default cube, make a perfect square in the top corner of the cube, then extrude at the height of the cube. Duplicate the new solid, rotate it 90 degrees, and move it to the lower corner of the cube. Duplicate that solid, and rotate and move it to the other lower side. Select all three rectangle solids, and perform a Boolean union operation to create a single solid. Duplicate, rotate, and move it so that it's positioned on the opposite side of the cube upside down. Perform a Boolean difference operation to remove those solids from the original cube. Select the edges on the solid that make up the logo shape and press Shift D to create a new curve. Press B to bevel the points, then press P to use the pipe tool to create a solid and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling a gemstone and plasticity. Start by using the regular polygon tool to create a six-sided curve. Extrude and taper it to a point. Move the curve up and rotate it 30 degrees, then scale it down. Use the patch tool to create a sheet from the curve. Then select the top face of the solid and press Shift X to remove it. Use the line tool to create a triangle curve that snaps to the points of the sheets and patch it. Repeat the process two more times. Radial array the tri sheets with a count of three. Then select all sheets and press J to join them. Use the patch tool to fill the holes and create a solid, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a 3D recycle symbol in plasticity. Start by creating a rectangle curve, duplicate it, rotate it 60 degrees, then move it behind and offset from the original. Use the regular polygon tool to create a triangle, then move it and scale it into place. Trim the inner edges, then join all curves. Create sheets from the curves, then duplicate the end edge of the arrow sheet, rotate it 30 degrees, and move it between the two sheets. Select the two end edges in the new curve and press L to loft. Join the three sheets into one with the J key. Use the thicken tool to create a solid. Radial array the solid with the count of three, then move the solids into place so that the inner edges create a triangle and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a spherical grill pattern in plasticity. Start by creating a sphere solid, then radial array it with a count of three. Create another sphere in the center as a new body. Create a line curve and cut the new sphere through the middle using the cut tool. Move the hemisphere up, then use the other spheres as cutters for a Boolean difference operation. Select the main face and use Shift D to create a sheet. 
duplicate the sheet and move it diagonally, then make duplicates using the rectangle array tool. Select the top edges and press Shift D to generate new curves. Create a new rectangle curve on the same plane as the circle curves. Extrude the face, then delete the top and sides of the solid to create a sheet. Hide the curves and your spherical grill pattern is ready to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a Celtic repeating pattern in plasticity. Start by creating a line curve and radial array it with a count of three. Press O to offset followed by the tab key to offset in both directions. Use the trim tool to remove the construction curves. Then select the curves and press J to join followed by B to bevel the points. Create a sphere solid then squash it to create a lintel shape. Move the curves above the solid then create a line curve that runs through the center of the solid and cut it using the C key. Delete the line curve in the lower solid, then imprint the curves onto the solid using Shift I. Select the center face, press Shift D to create a new sheet, then hide the solid. Duplicate the sheet and move it like so. Select both sheets and then use the rectangular array tool to duplicate them as many times as you'd like, and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at creating a beveled grenade pattern in plasticity. Start by creating a profile curve, revolve it to create a sheet, then patch it to create a solid. Use the isoparam tool to create three new segments. Select them, press P for the pipe tool, then B for new body. Change the vertex count to three and increase the section size. Create another triangle pipe using the edges along the side. Then offset the end faces beyond the main solid. Radial array the new pipe, then use all pipes as cutters in a Boolean difference operation, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating an advanced rounded corner in plasticity. Start with a cube, select the three edges that make up the corner you'd like to edit, chamfer the edges, offset the corner face to remove it, add fillets to the corner edges, use the isopram tool to add edges to the three ends, remove the corner faces, Patch the open boundary edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at creating impossible circle curves in plasticity. Start by creating a circle curve, offset it to create a duplicate, select both curves, duplicate them, and move them to the side like so. Use the bridge curve tool with the trim attribute disabled to create two new curves with tangency on top and bottom. Then use the trim tool to remove these inner edges. Select each curved face and press Shift D to generate a single curve per face. Scale the final two curves to your liking and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at modeling an organic knob in plasticity. Create a cylinder solid, fill up the top edge, and click the side of the solid to create a hemisphere. Extrude the bottom face and flare it out. Scale down the hemisphere. Create a two-segment line curve and bevel the center point to round it off. Extrude the curve and press tab to lock distances. Rotate the new sheet, then mirror it to duplicate it. Use the two sheets as cutters in a Boolean difference operation and remove the two smaller solids. Champ for the bottom edge, add fillet stall edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating a six-sided shape with the regular polygon tool. Create a circle curve with the diameter of one of the sides, then scale it 50% so it's placed in the center of one of the sides. Make two duplicates, then move them to the center of two other sides of the six-sided shape like so. Create a line curve down the center of the shape, then revolve half the shape to create a solid. Hide all the curves except the line curve. Use the line curve to cut the solid in half and delete one half. Duplicate the remaining half, rotate it 180 degrees, followed by 60 degrees, then Boolean union the two solids into one and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating this profile curve using the line tool. Use the revolve tool to create a solid. Hide the curve. Select the solid and use the delete redundant topology command to clean up the solid. Create a rectangle curve. Extrude it to make a solid. Taper this face. Rotate the new solid 45 degrees. Move it so that it intersects with the main solid. Then radial array it to create duplicates. Select the main solid followed by the other solids and perform a Boolean difference operation. Create a hole in the center of the solid, add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. 
Start by creating this profile curve using the line tool. Use the revolve tool to create a solid, hide the curve, select the solid and use the delete redundant topology command to clean up the solid. Create a rectangle curve, extrude it to make a solid, taper this face, rotate the new solid 45 degrees, move it so that it intersects with the main solid, then radial array it to create duplicates. Select the main solid followed by the other solids and perform a Boolean difference operation. Create a hole in the center of the solid, add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating a circle curve and offset it to create a smaller circle. Create a line curve, then extrude this face to make a solid. Extrude this face, followed by this face. Fill at these two edges, then create a hole through the solid like so. Fill at this edge, then mirror the solid to make it symmetrical. Add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating a rectangle curve at the origin, then create a 180 arc at one end, followed by a circle curve. Mirror the two new curves to duplicate them, then extrude these faces. Use the center box tool to add to the solid, then use the line tool to create a triangle curve. Extrude the face to make a new solid, move it into place, and use it as a cutter in a Boolean subtract operation. Hide all the curves, then add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating a rectangle curve at the origin. Create a circle curve and offset it. Then use the bridge curve tool to create two new curves that connect the circle and the rectangle curves. Mirror the curves, then extrude these faces to create a solid. Create a new rectangle curve, followed by a 180 arc curve and a circle curve. Then extrude these faces to make a solid. Create a new rectangle curve, press C for cut, and select the new solid as the target. Delete the curve in the new solid. Select both solids and perform a Boolean union operation. Add fillets to all edges, and you're good to go. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start by creating two circle curves. Use the bridge curves tool to create a new curve that connects the circles and disable the trim attribute. Use the line curve tool to create the bottom part of the main shape. Then offset the two circle curves by pressing O. Extrude these faces, then adjust the results to your liking. Hide the curves, then select all solids and perform a Boolean union operation. Create a new line curve along the bottom. Press Shift I for imprint curve, then select the solid as the target. Offset this face, create a new rectangle curve and use it to cut the solid, then remove the new solid in the rectangle curve. Cut two holes into the solid and you're all set. Floyd here with a quick look at basic asset creation and plasticity. Let's build this simple part. Start with a default scene, center the default cube at the origin, then create a cylinder off the top face and press B to create a new body. Mirror it to create a duplicate, duplicate it to create two more, then rotate the two new cylinders 90 degrees. Perform a Boolean union to create a single solid, select these faces, and use the hollow solid tool to create a shell solid. Add fillets to all edges, and you're all set. Oh, look at the time.